growing up in my household with my mom who's a smoker, my dad's a former smoker, uh, grandparents, on and on and on, generations beyond that have used tobacco, but I never thought uh, critically about how did that come to be, what impact is that having? I, um, I started smoking when I was about 10. I mean, that's what's so complicated is that the addiction. Initially, it was just fun. Uh, we continued to smoke. My habit, you know, increased. So it has been a struggle. We are the top leading organization who really sets out the advocacy agenda to come against the tobacco industry in the U.S. So in the black community, the statistics about tobacco use, they're devastating, actually. There are 45,000 people a year, African Americans, who die from smoking-related diseases. These diseases stem from heart disease, cancer, stroke, and uh, are, are really just the morbidities that exist in our African-American community because of smoking. It's no coincidence that my family smokes cigarettes or has used tobacco and particularly menthol cigarettes. My mom smokes menthol cigarettes. And learning that that is not just, you know, a personal preference, but that was actually targeted and in, in the, uh, the industry was very intentional in targeting black communities with this flavor. I can remember them coming into the neighborhood, passing out free cigarettes, and it was Newport's. Uh, Newport Menthol uh, Light were a new product, it was a new product, and they were actually targeting our neighborhood and bringing cigarettes in. So the Tobacco Free Kids organization has been around for 25 years now. We're celebrating that 25th year anniversary our mission uh, of the Tobacco Free Kids is to eradicate smoking globally. We've done that by really focusing on that next generation to end smoking there. So we're, we're focused on, on kids. My eldest son was born in 1990 when he reached seven or eight-ish. Um, and he just broke down crying. And, you know, I asked him what was wrong and he said, well, Dad, you always tell me what to do, but you never do what I tell you to do. So I was like, well, what did you tell me to do, buddy? And he's like, I want you to quit smoking. I made the internal uh, commitment to quit smoking. My mom smoked from teenage years to June 6, 1981. And the reason I remember that day is it was my high school graduation. And she asked what would I want for graduation. And I said, Mom, the best gift you could give me is to not smoke, give up cigarettes. My mom has not smoked since that day. My role in the Campaign for Tobacco Free Kids, working with the youth advocacy team, is basically, basically to support our outreach to communities of color, especially youth, um, growing through partnerships with organizations. We are committed to confronting the tobacco industries um, preying on communities that have been marginalized. Specifically within the African-American community, we are building a coalition of members who will help us to engage, to educate, and to uh, actually spread the word within their communities on this devastating product.